Hi, happy day. I welcome you back for chapter 2, Interaction to MS Access, part 2. In earlier class, we learned about what is database, that is DBMS, and what are its advantages. And uh, we also learned a step. Do you hope you remember it? Yeah, starting to MS Access, right? Yes. Now, this is a continuation part where we are going to look into it lively as how the MS Access is going to look and its features, that is the components. Yes, let's get into it. Yeah, now, so here in the search column, you can just type Access. So see here, I've already, this is the Access screen, which I've opened it for you. You can itself go here. So in an exam point of view, when we ask you the steps, what are the steps? or uh, what is the open procedure starting MS Access, you will write it as start all programs, Microsoft Office, uh, sorry, Office and Access. But now here, so when you do it practically, it's, uh, the Windows changes, right? The Windows screen, it changes from one uh, system to other system depending upon the Windows software which you have installed. Okay, now uh, instead of you going to the long step, can just type the word access and can you see the access word which will come in and you can if you click onto it the screen will be open hope you're able to see the screen clearly yes this is a screen which is opening up and now you can see info new open save save as close account and option so this is the basically a new screen so this is how the screen will open and you can see there are lots of customized means what customized means there are certain templates which is available right so let me zoom in and show you the templates so now you have a templates for, for you wanted to custom anything if the blank one you wanted to create it by yourself for nutrition for dieting okay you have certain tracking information in the database available for charitable contribution so as I told you in the earlier video uh, that we have certain information like that's a template which will be available, right? So there are certain uh, templates which will be available and basically you can make use of it or otherwise you can create your own self. Now I'm going to teach you the one how we are going to create one by our own. That is a new one. Yeah. So now I'm going to the blank desktop database. Can you see this word? Yeah, I'm clicking onto it. When I click onto it, it goes to the screen automatically. Okay, now I'll also tell you when you wanted to create newly. So I'm going here, I'm gonna click on new. And I'm gonna click on here. And yeah, this is the main screen which appears, that is blank database. So what does it ask? It asks for the file name. It's asks you to give a file name to it, right? So usually when you create, when you use the software for the very first time, it will always ask you a name. In other softwares, what we will do, once we type it, we'll save it. Initially, it asks the name and in which you wanted to do. So now I'm going to give here as, I'm going to remove this three. Okay, and now I'm going to write it as 8th standard. 8th, oh my god, this is not in caps letter, so I'm just opening it up. I'm just going to type 8 database. Hope this is seen clearly. I will zoom the screen now. Yes, what does it say? Yes, 8th database, and now after typing your name, and I'm going to give on create. Wow. So hopefully, can you see the screen? Yes. Yeah. So what is it? Can you see the name on the top? Class A database. Yeah, it has been created. Right? Yes. I would like to show you here one information. The file, how it has been saved here. Yes. Now, if you see... How it has been stored, uh, say it says your, uh, say where it is getting stored and everything. It shows you the path. But when you, when we give a name, it will get stored in the extension of 
dot a c d b what is the extension it gets stores on dot a c d b so dot a c c d b is the extension this is an extra information i would like to give to you students so even in the question comes in your exam what is the path name or what is the file name or the path in which the access files are getting saved you can say dot a c c d b okay now now i'm going to tell you the components various components of ms access you all know it the basic right there are only little which get varied so now what is this big long bar which has the name yes title bar so you all know this type of uh, this area right what is this area called as quick access toolbar you all know what is quick access toolbar accessing quickly you can customize this area right now other important one which we always like to do it so what we like to do it one minute i'm zooming up so minimize and maximize button what is this minimize and maximize button this is minimize maximize on the close button which is on the right hand side top corner okay now so now we are going to see the next one the tabs so where are the tabs here home create can you see the top below this title bar these are all called tabs okay now next to the tabs below these area this area this entire area what is it called as ribbon what is it called as ribbons and now this is on the left hand side this is called as navigation pan and uh, this is called as the document tab bar this is the one which we can customize and we can add the fields accordingly and now below here can you see record here this is called record navigation bar and here the search one hope it's clear it's called as record search box what is it called as record search box now these are the various components of the database and now when you wanted to say exit or buy to it how do we do it there is one shortcut which is alt plus f4 or you need to go to the file and you have an option called close yes you click on to it and what happens if you just click on close and your access this is how you close your access yes hope you have understood about the components yes now just a small recap you are going to see so what is a database it's an organized and collection of related information so dbms what is it database management system yes so what is it it's a software package which is used to create and manage database that means we can create by own our own and also we can create our own by yourself and this ms access is a soft popular software it's one of the popular software for this database which is used for organize and managing data in the form of tables only so we can modify add or delete or view any data in this access then what is this one this is the microsoft access symbol yes so hope you must have understood you uh, understand about this introduction part of access how you need to use it what are the various components which is really important to know before you get into it yes so thank you students and i'll see you on the next video in detail has how we can work in access thank you you all have a great day thank you students